we've had tough games and I think that's put us in good stead to where we are at the moment. Uh, for me, I'm just really enjoying my rugby here um, and, and my time here and I'm, I'm looking forward to showcasing again what me and my team can do in the final against a world-class opposition on Sunday. To be honest, it's gone pretty quick, eh? With the four-day turnaround, it, geez, it, it feels like two days when you, once you've recovered and you've got your captain's run one day, so you've pretty much got one day of training. It's all come pretty fast, but every game we've enjoyed immensely and you know, we, we, we just can't wait. We took a bit of confidence from uh, some of those games there. We were pretty happy with our attack. And I mean, our defence uh, turned up as well. So we know none of that means anything. Once, once we've uh, into the final stages, as soon as you slip up once, you, you know, you, you're gone. You've got to respect what, what they've done and achieved in this tournament. They're a world-class opposition. They want to attack from anywhere as well as being strong in the set piece. And I, I wouldn't, I'd say they have been pushed. I'd say in the semi-final, France pushed them there in that second half. We thought they probably won it and we can't afford to switch off. So we'll watch that game and take things that France did and hopefully we could push in on Sunday that we could maybe use against them. But then we can't underestimate them. We came out in that first half, I don't think, geez, we hardly even done anything wrong. You know, the French were definitely going to come out second half and that's exactly what they did. They put a lot of heat on us. They brought some real good semi-finals footy and it was good for us. We took a lot of learnings out of that second half and we'll be better for it. I think one of the Kiwis is the, the, it's the black jersey that intimidates people before you even get on the pitch. So for us boys, we've got to make sure that it's not intimidated us. So we just go on the pitch and enjoy our rugby and see what happens. As a team, we've had a tough journey. We've had some ups and downs, but we're hit, we've made it, we're into the final and people still say we haven't put our best performance in yet and I strongly believe that. So I'm really excited to Sunday. The last time some of our boys could, could wear an England jersey. So I think for them boys, we're going to go out flying there and, and, try, and try and do a job. It's going to be a great hell of a match-up for the final. They've dominated their pool and you know, they've, they've come out pretty strong. So we're going to expect some, some great attacking footy and they've got a great defensive game as well. So yeah, they definitely know how to handle the high-pressure situations, which is exactly what we expect the final to be. So we're going to, uh, we're going to be tested in that area. But um, I, I back our boys to be able to handle those pressured situations well as well. You know, ever since we came in for our first meeting way back in November, that, that was a goal to win the Rugby World Cup Championship. So, you know, that would just make all our work worthwhile.